Okay, so first of all, select all of the data and then go to insert and insert a scatter chart. Then reposition and resize the chart. And in order to format this quickly, I am going to right click and go to change chart type and templates and then select this template here and OK. Then in order to do this, we're going to need the developer tab. So right click and go to customize the ribbon and then make sure the developer tab is ticked and OK. Then go to the developer tab and select record macro and OK. Then double click on the X axis to open up the formatting bar and I'll change the minimum to be the 1st of September 2021. Then go back to the developer tab and stop recording. Then open up the Visual Basic Editor and click on the name of the workbook that you're currently in and go to Modules and then double click on Module 1. And this is the macro that we just recorded. And now we can edit this. So I'll delete the comments here. And in the first line of code, we're looking in the active sheet at the chart object called chart1 and we are activating it. But I don't actually need to activate the chart in order to make changes to it. So I can delete this part here and also the word active, which is part of active chart on the next line. We do still need to keep the word chart in here because the chart is actually a thing inside of the chart object. Then axes XL category means the X axis and dot select means select the X axis. But again, you don't actually need to select the axis in order to make changes to it. So I can delete this part here and then also active chart dot axis XL category on the line below it as that is just a copy of the line before it. And now I have the one line of code that I actually want. So in the active sheet, we're looking at the chart called chart one and we are taking the X axis of this chart and changing the minimum value of it to be equal to this value here but I don't want it to actually be equal to this number. I want it to be equal to the value in this cell here. So in order to do that, I am going to do equals range, open and close brackets, and then in quotation marks, I'll put this cell reference here. So that is E2. And then after this, I'll put dot value. So it will be taking the value which is in this cell here. Now, if I run this macro, you'll see that the minimum of the X axis changes to the 15th of September. But instead of running the macro each time, I want for this line of code to run automatically whenever the value in this cell changes. And in order to do that, I'm going to copy this line of code here and double click on sheet one, which is the sheet that I am currently in, and then change this here to worksheet and use this drop down list here to select change. Then we can delete this part and paste in here the line of code that I just copied. Now at the moment, this line of code will run every single time anything is changed in the worksheet, but I want it to run only when the value in this cell is changed. So in order to do that, I need to add in an if statement. And I already have the value up here called target. So I'm going to do if target dot address and address is just another way of saying the cell reference is equal to e2 and 
E2 needs to have dollar signs around it, and it also needs to be in quotation marks. So I'm saying if the value in E2 changes, then I want to run this piece of code. And then I need an end if after this. Now, in order to save this, it has to be saved in a macro enabled workbook. So I'll select no. And then change the save as type to a macro enabled workbook and save. Then I can change the value in this cell here. And the minimum of the x axis will change. Now, I also want to do the same thing for this value here, but this time changing the maximum. So I will copy this if statement here and paste it down here. And then this time we'll change E2 to J2 instead. And instead of changing the minimum, we'll be changing the maximum. And then again here, we need to change this to J2. And then we can save this. And now if I change the value in this cell, the maximum of the x axis will change. Now I'm also going to go to Excel add-ins and tick the date picker add-in and OK. And now if I click in any cell with a date in it, this icon will appear and I can click on this and then select a day from the calendar. And I can also do the same thing here and it changes the date in the cell to whatever I select. Now you can download the date picker add-in for free from this website. Though of course you don't need this in order to get the macro to work, you can just type in the date that you want. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to change the maximum and minimum of a chart axis in Excel using a macro, and that is everything.